What's up, y'all? I'm Drew Laney. Welcome to the Liberty Flames off-season episode. We're coming off a bowl win. Nine wins. That was our goal, and we hit it. So let's take a look at some season stats. We didn't do it last episode. We should have. We didn't. Um, new records. Danny Harris, most rushing touchdowns in a season, 21. Wow. And that's, like, uh, absolutely incredible. Um, oh, UTEP. Why did he throw UTEP stuff? Who cares? That's the other clown. Um, so, yeah, let's take a look at all of the uh, stats uh, for uh, this year. Where is it? Stats and records. Here we go. Season stats for uh, this year. Um, so, oh, oh, I thought it was uh, Landon. So, Tom Smith, here's all the, the stats uh, 173, 269, 19 touchdowns, 14 picks. Cut down the interceptions uh, this year. I was going to have three picks. Yikes, no touchdowns. 200 yards game. Six of our completion percentage is not, not bad at all. Um, running the ball, this is where we made our money. Danny Harris, 100, 1,500 1, yards, 21 touchdowns. Tom Smith had four. Uh, Terrence Barber was great in relief of uh, Danny Harris. A couple of carries a game. Uh, receiving Corey Deitches, as expected, a tight end extraordinaire. 800 yards, seven touchdowns. Uh, Danny Harris, of course, screens and just short little dump offs. Number two, Pedro Brooks, an amazing freshman season, 404, six touchdowns. Um, yeah, really like him. And uh, Patrick Ramirez was okay. Um, great yards per catch, um, just not too many catches. Um, too many of, where are they? Where are the drops? Drops. Nine drops. I just also had, also had nine. One for Danny Harris, three for Pedro Brooks, which is really good because I don't think he's. Oh, wow, Patrick Ramirez is at 78 overall. Um, I didn't realize that, but anyway. Too many drops uh, either uh, either way. Um, to look at the defensive side of the ball, uh, Rusty Browning. Awesome. Excited. He's going to jump up a lot. Uh, was a Ju Juco transfer. We know that. He's going to be a senior next year. Um, but still, awesome. Uh, that's our really goal next year is, is, is safeties because we, we need safeties pretty bad. Um, the Healer team in tackles. Tackles for loss, though, was Emmanuel West. Or, no. I've been calling him Emmanuel West, and it's Ethan West. Let's just change his name to Emmanuel. Anyway, uh, love him. He's been amazing. Sacks, uh, Keyshawn Hunter, injured, but he'll, he'll be back um, to start next season. Uh, nine sacks. Next was with Jimmy Gonzalez. Uh, kind of disappointed this year. Uh, Rusty Browning, he had three sacks. He had more than Ronnie Wise. Ronnie Wise disappointed big time this year. Green with three sacks. Steve Young with two sacks. Steve Green. Uh, Steve Young. Steve Green. Steve Young. Steve Green is a, a musical artist. Anyway, uh, Ronnie Wise and Steve Young, they should not have the same. Russell Brown should have more than Ronnie Wise. Ronnie Wise needs to step up next year. Uh, Logan Beatles, Tim Oscar Brooks, Ethan West, Ethan West. Um, a lot of like one sacks. Uh, interceptions. Cole Wilson had four uh, to lead our team. Two for Rusty Browning, Donaldson, and Steve Young. Donaldson, thank you for being here. You are a captain. We will miss you. Uh, oh, yeah. We need to look at kicking. Uh, how many field goals do we actually take? Um, this year seven and we missed one it was a big one that we missed uh who was it against ohio yeah, it was against ohio that we lost uh terrible game, terrible game. anyway um punting average of 33 39.9 not terrible not terrible um only 18 punts kick return yes terrence barber of course uh won the award for of course um, best returner, two touchdowns, average of 30 per, which is really, really good. Punt return wasn't as good. Um, 12 yards to return. Actually, that's, 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 uh, that's pretty good. Uh, we can take a look at, uh, we didn't have any school school records um, either. Uh, is there a way to see all Americans? There we go. No, not the Heisman winner. We'll take it out. Take a look anyway. So Cameron Carroll, a lot, all, wow, all running backs. Wild. Denny Harris, maybe next year, maybe, maybe, maybe. We'll see. Uh, all NCA, uh, we aren't, we don't have anyone on CA. Just to let you know, the Mac, we do. Denny Harris, obviously. I mean, like for sure. Uh, look at his progression, because I know you guys want to see it. So you can pause if you want to. I mean, just a big jump in terms of attempts, yards. Uh, not as much touchdowns. Only four more touchdowns. Um, still though, like that's impressive. Um, any other people? Um, Keyshawn Hunter, yeah, not a surprise. Uh, Rusty Browning, not a surprise. Return Terrence Barber, of course. Second team, Corey Deitches, makes sense. Makes sense. Anybody else? I doubt it. Oh, Steve. Oh, Steve Young, not Cole Wilson. I thought it would be Cole Wilson, but I, uh, I guess not. You see right there at the bottom, we do have a head coach upgrade, um, which we are about to use uh, right now. 
of course we're going to use that uh, for letter of intent it gives us an extra well 3,000 recruiting points uh, for the off season which is like huge huge so we are just uh, bouncing right up there in upgrades which is just awesome all right uh, we are ready to progress uh, to next season and we're gonna see how much we've improved recruits um, this is always a fun fun episode all right first up uh, they're assigning us to a seven-year extension um, you can see uh, our first year uh, we actually we didn't go one in seven right it was that other clown coach uh, one, one 11 sorry our first year drew landy's first year seven and six nine and four uh, we are on the come up yes we want to sign an extension we are ready to yeah we're not doing no coaching carousel we're gonna see what players um, are leaving we have a decent amount of uh, seniors leaving this year so here we are we're gonna go position uh, by position uh, Scott Calvert uh, of course is graduating not surprised running backs uh, nobody fullbacks Brett Tionpik of oh, Brett Bill I call people by the wrong first name all the time uh, Bill Tionpik a uh, great fullback for us uh, DJ Stubbs oh we're gonna miss him so much his clutch catches getting first downs oh man uh, no tight ends no tackles no guards Thomas Sargent uh, center uh, is gone uh, this year we will miss him uh, quite a bit Damian Bounds um, I don't think uh, either of those guys uh, played much. Tristan Schultz, uh, maybe he played. I think he did. Uh, no left end, no right end. Defensive tackle, none. Linebacker, not as many as I thought, I guess. Remington Green, yep, yeah, we did know about this. Yeah, I can't put it uh, Finished off a great season. Um, Oscar Brooks, really? <clears throat> Playing time. Interesting. Um, play more than nine games. Um, uh, no, that's that's on the net. Let you know. Uh, so like the Espinoza. Um, I expect him to do a lot more this year, and he really didn't. Uh, cheap L Morris Jones Morris. Uh, no, Morris Jones, whatever Jones Morris. Um, that's it. So not as many as I thought. Actually, I thought there was gonna be a whole lot more. It's really not a lot. We have a very young team, uh, which is good. The next stage, transfer requests. Uh, let's see, export. No, we're not going to export that. <laughs> Without a doubt. Yes, you, you, you keep telling me that we've advanced a level. Uh, so here we are. Let's see some uh, draft results. Uh, there's none from, from Liberty. Yeah, not, not this year. Maybe in two years when Denny Harris is there. And for the first year ever, no transfer requests. Past couple of years, we've we've, uh, we've actually had those. All right, here we go. The juicy stuff, recruiting. All right, here we go. Recruiting in the off season. All right, so we have uh, quite a few different people we want. Um, uh, they're all athletes, which is like wild. John Moore. Who are the guys you've been going after? Yeah, Joe Davis. Um, so we have 13,000 points. I kind of want to spread them out. Um, it was for him. Uh, John Moore. I mean, no one's really gone after him. But here's the thing. Like, I don't know how much we'll need to actually secure him. I don't know. Like, all these guys who we barely even looked at. Okay. Um, who are some other guys that we actually have invested? In that, in, invested. 67275. I mean, come on. Dude is a beast. Is there a way to like make this go faster? We want even more points on him, okay? I mean, I'm sure people are gonna spend a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, probably gonna be like yeah, five thousand. Yeah, a lot of these guys. Um, and we did a good job of getting some good players. All right, so we're like halfway done with a lot of our people. So let's go a lot more to Joe, Joe Davis. That, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. That's the thing. Like, there's so many people that we want. So we're gonna leave this guy, Chelsea, Massachusetts. Sure, we'll use the rest on him. Let all these other guys just just go, and we'll see what happens. So, all right, we're investing a lot. 
Man, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. We need a good, good um, thing. Here's signing day. <sighs> Let's see what we get. Hey, all right. So this worked out very well. So we did get John Moore. We got Joe Davis, Ronnie Stevenson, and that's it. So the big two we wanted, of course, were Joe Davis and Ronnie Stevenson. That's who we invested uh, quite a bit into. Um, we got John Moore as also a consolation by uh, cornerback 76 overall. That's awesome. Top class in the, con in the conference, not surprised. Jim Prophet, no, no, no. Hey, that could not have gone, like, any better. Um, I am interested to kind of see how close we were on the other guys. If we missed out by a lot or, like, by a little. Um, yeah, we're going to get him. Yeah, we're going to get him close. John Moore. Oh, we barely got him. Wow. Um, that's fine. Do we put stuff into him? I think we did. Um, oh, wow. We put way too much into him. I guess they just let him go. Um, yeah, we haven't put any of these guys. Yeah, so, hey, we did, oh, 1700. Hey, that was worth it. Hey, that's great. So, really good recruiting class. Uh, probably our best overall. Uh, we did not get the number one, Henry Warren. Uh, we were close. Uh, position changes. This is a huge one. We have so many players playing in the same position, and we're gonna have to like change quite a bit. So we're gonna go position uh, by position, starting uh, no, not at running back, at quarterback. So we have a ton. So Terrence Burke, freshman quarterback coming in. Um, uh, I don't think we're really gonna have to. I mean, yeah, he's gonna be cut. He's gonna be cut. Sorry, guys. Uh, it's just how it is. Um, so what is your like, throw power and stuff? More throw power, more accuracy. Bro. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, running back, there's not really anyone here. Frank Boyd. Um, bro, Terrence Barber is, 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 is the backup for now. Thank you. Um, that's fine. That's fine. Fullback. Running Gary's redshirt. He'll be starting this year. Uh, receivers. Oof, this receiver room is not, not very good. <laughs> Bust. <laughs> Look at all the freshmen we have. Not bad. These two aren't too bad. Uh, Michael Thomas is fine. Um, oh, that's right. He'll be coming off. So he should take a step forward. Pedro Brooks will definitely take a step forward. Um, didn't realize he was a sophomore. Are they, are they already upgraded? Okay. Yeah, just, okay. They've already up, updated their thing. Okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. Tight end. Uh, yeah, Norman, uh, not really speed, but yeah, Kyle Deitches. Corey Kyle, Corey Deitches. Now, I'm interested, what was he be as a receiver? Also a 75. Interesting. I really think I want to keep him as tight end just because he can, he can do that. Um, yeah, he's not gonna, he's not gonna change at all. Um, he's too small to do any of that. Um, that's too bad, that's too bad. Um, yeah, Chris Bear, I know we retroed you, but I think you're going to be gone. Um, wow, we have a lot. These guys are probably going to be cut just because they're too old. Um, we'll see Austin Reeves, good. Oh, good junior left guard. Didn't even realize that. From Washington, yep, we got him a couple years ago. Oh, boy, here's where we got some We got some issues. Oh, he's a red shirt? Good, good. He's probably going to be your starter. <laughs> Uh, some of the guards. Chibouzier, senior. Oh, we definitely need some right guards. Hold on. So we have probably one too many centers. Uh, could you... Let's put a center over there. Brian Randolph, let's prepare you to be a right guard. That's, that should be fine. Uh, actually, you know what? No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Jeremy Smith is going to be a right guard. Yep, that's fine, that's fine. And we're going to move Brian Randolph back to center. I like it. Right tackle. Oh, man. Ugh, next two years, we are we are stuck. All right, Jimmy Gonzalez. Uh, keep him at left end. Joe Harrell. Ronnie Stevenson coming in. Schaefer. Probably going to redshirt these guys. Probably Stevenson. Because he will take over for um, Jimmy Gonzalez uh, next year. Ronnie Wise. Gerard Sanders. Give us a tackle. Let's see. I think we're good here. I think we all set. 
Uh, linebacker, Joe McKinley. McKinney, I always say McKinley. Why? I don't understand why. That looks okay to me. My linebackers, West, Jackson, and Tucker, all juniors. And ooh, we are needing outside linebackers. Let me see. Can you play right outside linebacker? Yes, you can. That's fine. That's fine. Bertzall, can you play middle linebacker? There you go. Cornerbacks. So Oscar Brooks did not come back. That's unfortunate. Uh, John Moore, freshman. I, I actually was thinking of putting you as a safety, but now maybe not. So we're going to need you. Now, granted, Steve Young's going to take a step forward. Cole Wilson, Hunter probably not. And then these two guys, they're, they're not. So let, let's see what we got. Uh, free safety, Tree Skipper. Okay, okay. What a name, Tree, tree Skipper. Or, oh, Tyree Skipper. Um, okay, it's better than I thought, not gonna lie. Uh, Rusty Browning, senior. Oh, we're gonna miss him so much. Um, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Uh, kicker, yeah, we're fine. Punter, we're fine. All right, athletes. Okay. We have a lot to start at the bottom. Uh, Marcus Bryant. Uh, you offensive lineman. Nope, defensive lineman. Wow, what are you? The answer is not good. <laughs> Free safety. 6'7", 235. Not offensive lineman. Defensive lineman. Linebacker. Okay. Uh, let's say right outside linebacker. Yeah, it's, it's huge. Uh, Freddie Rust. Now, this looks like an offensive lineman. Yes. Oh, 60 overall center. Let's go. Tom Swain. Uh, looks like another offensive lineman. Yes. Right tackle. Joe Davis. Let's see. Same overall running back. Receiver not good. Tight end. 71 cornerback. 73 free safety. Boom. There's our future free safety. And Thomas Ford. Man, you can do everything. Let me... Hold on. Hold on. 88 speed. What is your throw power and accuracy? That's like... 74, 78. Man, do I redshirt you? And then you take over? What are your other positions you can play? Strong safety, wow, free safety, 76 overall. I think that's what's gotta be, free safety. All right, so let's go back to the safeties because I kinda, so let's see, hold on. What were you as a strong safety, better, worse? What were you as a strong safety, better, worse, worse? Okay, I think you could definitely be a strong safety, okay? All right, so there we go. Keep our changes. Yes, we have everyone all set. Whew. All right, big one. Training results. This is big for all of our um, red shirts, big for all of our returning players. Um, let's see what we got. All right, starting with the quarterbacks. Tom Smith um, only goes up plus four to a 78. Interesting. Uh, plus one speed to an 80. Um, JJ Johnson was a red shirt uh, freshman. Not bad. Um, let's see his throw power and accuracy. So he went up in a lot of things. One throw power, uh, three actually, so 85, 75. As a junior, interesting. So we'll see uh, how he stacks up. Running backs, oh, Danny Harris, I said 89, 90. 90, Terrence Barber also went up six. He has 97 speed, 96 for Danny Harris. Ooh, blazing. Um, I mean, yeah, what more can you want? Uh, more broken tackles, more trucking, elusiveness is through the roof. Yeah, Danny Harris is like uh, the man. The man. <laughs> Alright, uh, fullback, this is just nothing too too crazy. Yeah. What do you do? Receiver, this is the big one. Patrick Ramirez, alright. Plus 4 to 82. Uh, look at all the other guys. Uh, Michael Thomas, ooh, lots of speed. Wow. Plus one. Uh, Pedro Brooks, not as much as I would have liked. Uh, Sean Queen and Greg Doug. I mean, they're they're going to go down. They're going to go down. Pedro Brooks is number two now. Um, am I having Michael Thomas number three? We'll see. Let's take a look at the uh, catching. It's always the big one. 61, 70. Oh, man, 68. The crazy senior. <laughs> all right. All right. Not bad. Uh, tight end. This is a big one, too. Norman. Wow. 86 overall. 
And we have so many good tight ends. It's like we have too many good tight ends. Uh, these two guys are probably going to be cut, to be honest. And these are going to roll with these guys. It's going to have to be Deitches. I mean, 81 overall. You cannot ignore that. 91 speed. Come on. Strength, acceleration. Yeah, it's, it's got to be Deitches. Uh, I almost wonder if I should put him as a wide receiver. I really, really wonder. But anyway. Left tackle. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Love it. Uh, you? You're not. I was like, you like able to be Richarded. Sean Washington. Brian Randolph. Awesome. 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 Right, Chibuzi. Woo! Oh, man. Number 10. Ah, oh, plus four. Wow. That's then Jimmy Gonzalez. Y'all. Y'all, we... We are here. Look at all of these step forward. Oh, Vacation Hunter is a beast. Uh, McKinney, yeah, I'm not surprised. The speed is going up. Ethan West, oof, plus five. He's a beast. Taylor Jackson, all right. That's a big one here. Good, good. More speed. Um, this fine acceleration. Um, where is uh, man zone press? All right. I mean, Cole Wilson's only a, a sophomore. Don't forget. So that's 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 big steps. Skipper, good. Both both going up. I like it. Strong safety. Rusty Browning. You know, I'm actually surprised he did not go up more. Hmm. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, kicker plus six. Um, Power goes up, please. Alright, yeah, whatever. And then uh, Punter, 80 overall. Wow, look at that. So look at look at all of these good players. Look how many. We have someone in the 90s. Officially. Um, also, plus 8 watts. Wow, that's wild. Um, but look how many 80s. Oh my goodness, so many. So many. Oh, I'm excited uh, for this upcoming year. Alright, cup players. I do have a feeling we have... Um, a decent amount, to be honest. Ah, a lot of seniors. I really think it's gonna be a lot of seniors. How many do we need to cut? I feel like we have to cut a good. Oh, wow, we have to cut that many. <laughs> All right, so let's see here. Uh, yeah, Landon Brown. Yeah, goodbye. Brandon Wright. You're, you're you're never gonna play. Clint Hart. Um. Are we really going to run two quarterbacks? We can, because we have all those other athletes that can play quarterback, too. Okay. Running backs. We don't need this money. Goodbye. Fullback. Um, where did you come from? <laughs> really? Uh, receivers. No, we need, like, all these guys. Who's Jeremy Smart? Brandon Brown. Yeah, that's good. Tight ends. Sorry, Chris. Thanks for being here, though. And Dave Jeremiah, thanks for being here. You, you were never gonna make it. Um, yeah, Brandon, no worries. And yeah, we we have we have enough. We have enough, and we're almost like already there. So we can be kind of selective with this last one. Might be that that. What random senior like do we have like a super overloaded position that we would never I love Logan Beatles but you are the final link to be cut goodbye all right let's move on to the next all right we're not going to um, red shirt players go uh, position by position by position um, we can't do JJ Johnson can't do Burke um, Man, I really want to. I think I'm going to. Uh, the odds of Tom Smith getting injured are is low, but not zero. <laughs> so JJ Johnson can come in and be that be that backup that time. Uh, running backs. I mean, uh, I'm so tempted. Because then Denny Harris is a senior. He's still a sophomore. I can't. I can't. I need him as a returner. I need him as a returner. Um, Jimmy Brown. That's easy. Uh, wide receiver, um, Chuck Cox, that's pretty easy. Um, I could do with seniors as well. Tight ends, any of the tight ends? I was like, Bellamy, I was going to already. 
sledge. I love having being able to do all this. Uh, we need him. <laughs> um, no, I'm gonna do Freddy Rust. Um, I didn't realize. Wow, we have two really good offensive centers. Which is Chibuzier. We're gonna need someone to step in for him next year. So it's probably one of those guys. So uh, right tackle. Uh, yeah, Tommy Swain for sure. Cause he'll be a senior next year, coming as a freshman. Perfect. Uh, left end, Ronnie Stevenson, and honestly, honestly, Boy Sheffer too. Um, nope, not Ronnie Wise, Matt Black, uh, Joel McKinley. I mean, really? No, I'm going to do it. McKinney. I always said it's McKinney, not McKinley. Uh, right, so back here, Christopher Werda. Um, anybody here? Two, three. Neither of these guys are really, like, very good. Dooley Miller, why not? Free safety. Okay, here's where we got a couple guys for sure. Um, no, Joe Davis. Thing is, he is... Was he a quarterback at all? I don't think he was the quarterback guy, was it? Okay, no. So I am going to redshirt Joe Davis. Um... So these guys do because then we'll have him for sure next year. Strong safety. Uh, I'd love to do that. Right. No. Um, and Thomas Ford. He is the other quarterback. Um, I'm going to do that. It's such, a, such a risky thing. Such a risky thing. And yeah, we can't. We can't do either of those guys um, out either. And Danny Harris we're going to do as well. No, just kidding. <laughs> definitely. Uh, definitely. Um, no. All right, let's take a look at our schedule this year. All right, we are back with our schedule. We start off against the FCS, uh, the Stampede. All right, and of course, our yearly match against LSU, week two, week three, UTEP. So pretty much the same three start um, every year. Uh, we have two back-to-back -back, uh, weeks off. Um, just how the schedule fell. Uh, then we just go straight like every week. Toledo, never lost against them. Uh, we face Army this year. We just faced them in the military bowl, facing them again. They want a rematch. Um, that was not even me. That was that was them. Uh, Central Michigan, uh, Ball State, Miami, um, and then just Ohio, Buffalo, Kent State, and Bowling Green to finish off the uh, season uh, again. So, so that is our schedule for uh, this upcoming uh, year. And now let's take a look at the uh, recruiting board. All right. So here we are. I'm gonna take a look at some uh, players. Uh, Michael Jackson, interesting. Um, well, look at that throw power and actually that was ridiculous. But great name, take him off. I pretty much added him. He was the top overall uh, player. Uh, running backs, uh, these are two players that are interested in us. Ace, oh, he goes down, goes up. All right, all right whatever. Um, no, whatever. Some fullbacks, wide receivers. All right, 62, um, 97 speed. Also, this A class name, William Williams. I uh, have time for a shirt, and he goes down 59. I'm not Yikes. So, William Williams, 61 catch, already uh, same as Pedro Brooks or one of those two. Um, also has 97 speed. I, I like the sound of that. Corey Grant. Oh, big bust. Big bust. Will Washington. Oh, my goodness. What the bust city? Zach Higgins. Oh, my goodness. Just busts all around. Uh, defensive ends. Uh, I'm going to save. Let's go to the higher ones. Robert Fitch. Uh, my goodness. What is what is wrong? Uh, lots of middle linebackers. Uh, this year, Joey Hawthorne. My goodness. Finally. Uh, like, uh, all these people that like are interested in us. Or, uh, man. Kevin Horton. I think we need that. Uh, strong safeties. Chris Lane. Okay, Jeff Moore. Yikes. Uh, punter. We do need a punter. Hey, oh my goodness. 93 kick power? Sign me up. And then we get to check on these uh, guys as well. Um, yeah, we, we're trying to go big with the athletes. Kind of like we did last year. Um, yeah, I know we didn't scout 15 players. That's, that's okay. <laughs> um... So those are our targets uh, so far this year, and uh, yeah, 
I'm excited. Let's take a look at the depth chart. Uh, so, starting. Actually, hold on. This is actually going to be... Oh, he's a red shirt. I'm going to leave just, just a small just for now. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I don't know if that takes him out of red shirt. I don't think it does. Uh, so, Tom Smith, we're hoping he doesn't get injured at all this year. If he does, JJ Johnson comes in for a little bit. That's fine. Running back, you know, Danny Harris. Um, this is going to be Terrence Barber as the backup, not Frank Boyd. Fullback. Um, I'm actually going to make yeah, Kyle Norman the, the backup fullback to Brandon Garrett. Patrick Ramirez, number one receiver. Greg Doug is not. Why is Pedro Brooks so far down? No, Pedro Brooks is. Hold on. Greg Doug. No, no, let's just wait a bit. He's number two. Sean Queen. That's number three. No, it is. We're gonna do. We're gonna do. Dietus number three. Uh, number four is gonna be Greg Doug. Five. It's going to be. Where is Terrence Barber? That's what I want. There we go. That's what we want right there. Actually, no, no, no. Terrence Barber is number four. Then we got just kind of all kinds of speed all over the field. Tight end course. Uh, no, it was actually going to be Corey Deitches. Can't start twice. What do you mean, though? What's he starting? All right. Yeah, we're going to flex Terrence Barber as the number three. Tight end. Come on. Now it's going to be Deitches. Thank you. This one will be Norman. Okay. Oh, Ball's a senior. I didn't realize that, but that's okay. Um... So he's going to have this here anyway. So, okay. So that's cool. Uh, left tackle. we got Austin Reeves, of course. Sean Washington. All these guys you kind of already know. Um, Pena. Technically, he's better than Brian Randolph. Really? I'm letting Nate um, ride. Jabouzier. That's great. Tackle, of course. Matan. Left then Jimmy Gonzalez. Jared Sanders backing up. We got Joe Harrell as well. Right in, Ronnie Wise. Jared Sanders, Harrell as well. All American, preseason All American. Or actually, both. <laughs> uh, Hunter, then you got Bowser, Hazard, Joe Harrell, and Jared Sanders backing him up. Uh, left outside linebacker, Sean Tucker. Middle linebacker, uh, Burt's also as well. Middle linebacker, of course, Ethan West, not Emmanuel West. I said that made him like, way too often. Um, excited to see these guys this year. Um, our team is good. Uh, Red Sox linebacker Tyson uh, Taylor Jackson was the middle linebacker last year. Barely saw the field. He's a Red Sox linebacker. He's great. Cornerbacks. This is where we are rough. Why does Sean Tucker? Number no, that makes no no no. Cole Wilson. Thank you. Uh yeah, John Moore, true freshman coming right in. All right, let's do it. Um, Cole Wilson. I'm actually gonna have be the number two. Oh, there you go. And then Steve Young. Um, no, 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 Okay, this is not. Uh, Damien Harris, or Danny Harris, could Damien Harris, woof. Wow. Um, he's a red shirt. Mr. Bryant could be the, the, the fifth. We somewhere have five. Free safety. Skipper. Why does Sean Tucker need to do everything? Steal. Okay. Uh, strong safety. If, if it's Tucker again! Ay ay ay. Hunter Goat's gonna be the, the backup. Ay ay ay. Kicker, of course, Chris Ray. Which actually. Amy Alves is so much better. We'll leave it as this for now. Punter, uh, you know, that is fine. Kick returner, Terrence Barber, of course. Danny Harris, number two. Punt return, obviously, same thing. And uh, kickoff socials and long snap. Y'all yeah. don't really care too much about that. That is our team for this year. Um, I really, really, really like where our team is. Um, I mean, about as good as, as we could ask for from when we started. Uh, so now let's uh, advance to our first week of recruiting. And let's see uh, how we match up against uh, FCS. All right, here we are at recruiting. Um, at this point, um, Mirror Promo is going to come in just as a backup slash other things uh william williams 
is a dude I want for sure. He's a 550 person. There's a scholarship for you. UTIP also going after him. What you doing, bro? Grant, Tackle. There wasn't really too many guards or anything. Zach Huggins. Maybe a little bit. Already number two for them. Uh, excuse me. I didn't see you in the thing. Where are you actually? A bust. That's what you are. Um, I'm fine with that. Look how many middle linebackers we have. This is just absolutely insane. Uh, another day. Another day. Not, not right now. Not right now. Chris Lane. Okay. So we're going to go after you. Because we do need some backup. Some help. Um, that first. So do that. Give you a scholarship. Hunter. Um, yeah, I don't know if we're going to get Antonio Williams. I mean, punters are punters. Not that punters aren't people too, but you know, Ryan King, 81 overall, perfect. Brian Brown, 78, okay. Jamal Workman, okay. Jamal Henderson, not. Okay. All right, so all these guys, we're gonna go after 100%. We should have, should have some left over for. Some other stuff as as well all right let's see prospect overview so obviously we're gonna offer con or contracts scholarships uh, to all these guys okay now we can go back to those defensive tackles and uh, do some scouting and kind of see hey which one is best oh Aries guided you Aries guided you Eesh. Okay, so gone. Gone. And Dallas Mitchell. Oof. Both these guys are just super rough. He's a bust, but like, uh, I'm kind of okay with going after him a little bit. Uh, defensive ends. Oh my goodness. Huge busts. Hang on. I'm not too encouraged. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh my goodness, we just did not do well. Um, we do need some more wide receivers, so we do kind of have to go after these guys a little bit. Uh, same with the running back. Um, just as a right, come on the on the bench, on the bench, the redshirt. All right, so there's our recruiting board, and now let's see how we stack up against FCS in terms of just like our team ratings. Not that that really means too much, but. Are we an 80 overall team? <gasps> we are an 81 overall team, 83 offense, 80 defense. Guys, we have made it into the 80s. We are moving up in the world. You need to like and subscribe for what is coming up next. In just a couple days, our opening game versus FCS Northwest will kick off. I am Drew Landy. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time.